Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial and in this one we need to talk about the Polynum. And this is a modulator. So this, this is one, Polynum. So I'm going to go and bring it. And I'm, I got I to gotta say, you know, as soon as you open this and you see this, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, what the fuck is this? I'm not going to use this. I'm not a mathematician. So I'm just going to, you know, go right here and kaboom. I'm going to use something else. Maybe a classic LFO. All right. But don't worry. I'm going to show you what this does. And it's pretty dumb. So the only thing this does is give you, of course, a modulation. That's what it is. It's a modulator. But it will follow whatever, you know, shape you have right here. So this is how you control the shapes. And why, whenever you move this, you can create very uh, different shapes. Something that you don't get with a classic sine wave or a classic LFO. It's just a little bit different. So this one is going to move uh, kind of a, this shape on the on the uh, Y axis. And this one, are, this one's, these last three are going to just change the shape. So this one is going to kind of a, do a tilt right here. This one is going to go and uh, kind of a, move the up and the down, of course, right here. But notice that the center stays the same. It's just not changing it, you know. And then, of course, you get the other one, which is going to be something like that, you know. There you go. So again, all of this is just different ways of creating different shapes that we just cannot uh, kind of a create uh, with anything else. Now, the trick is, of course, we need to use this as a modulation. So I'm going to go right here and say um, I'm going to use it on maybe the cut of filter, right? It's just, just going to do something like that. I'm going to go. And then I'm going to move the cut of filter. So if I play the sound, this is the sound that I'm using as a bass with a tiny a little bit of reverb. But nothing happens. And notice that it's staying right here. Notice it's because the ball is right here. If I start changing this, this one, this movement is going to change because the ball now is in a different position. Right? Okay. So the trigger here is that this ball is the one that will give you the movement. It was going to move through this uh, curve. And this is the, the uh, control to do it. So if I go here, notice it's starting and then and it will do the modulation. Now, of course, this is not something that you're going to do by hand. This is something that you need to modulate with a different modulator. So if I go, I'm going to, I don't know, maybe a classical FO, why not? And I'm going to go and say, all right, so I want to move this one, start right here, and I want to go up and down. And you're going to get that movement. Now, of course, you can alter the shape and get different sounds. It's really cool, man. Now, of course, notice that this one goes up and then goes back. Up, you know, forward, back and forth. And this is because, you know, of course, if you're using this as an LFO. But if you want to change this, what you can do is use a uh, triangle. And because the triangle, of course, it will ramp up. And at one point, it's going to finish. So it's going to go up and start again and start again and start again. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and use the sine wave. Now, of course, everything that you have right here can be modulated as well. So we can go crazy on this one. I'm going to go and bring up uh, another BDLFO. And I'm going to say, dude, now I'm going to go and modulate this one. Maybe I want to go and bring some steps. And on the steps, I'm going to say, I don't know, I want something like this. Whatever. And I'm going to go and do a mo modulation on the other one. Maybe something like that. Why not? And in this one, I'm going to do something like that. And I right from the start, you're just getting crazy modulations, which is really cool. You know, it's the, the whole idea of all of this. And I can go in this and map to whatever, whatever the fuck I want, right? So I'm going to go there. Maybe you, Nissan. And that's a very cool sound. So that's it, you know, not so hard now. So just disregard all the maths that you have right here. Sometimes uh, the Bitwig developers, they have weird way of, ways of giving you uh, giving you modulators. They, they are very, uh, sometimes very specific. And sometimes I wish they, you know, just add uh, a control and say, you know, uh, shape, uh, tilt or whatever, just with one knob instead of just doing this. But, you know. Now you know, it's just a very simple device that will give you a curve and then you just can do a little bit of modulation within and do a little bit of mod modulation with, uh, you know, anything else. So that's it. That's what you get. 
It's a very simple device. So, okay, so that's it. So hopefully you like this one, you learn about this and not, you're not afraid of the polynome anymore. And uh, remember to like and subscribe, of course. And remember to check Patreon because I upload all the videos to Patreon way before I put them right here on YouTube. Maybe days, maybe weeks, maybe months. All right, so see you on the next one.